And at this time, would all sergeants please start the recordings. Computer started. Cloud has started. Backup is rolling. Thank you, Sergeant Bradley, with your opening statement, please. Good afternoon and welcome to today's New York City Council vote on public housing. At this time, will all members turn on your videos for verification purposes? Thank you. Chair, we may begin. Good afternoon and thank you for coming. I am Council Member Alika Ampri Samuel, Chair of the Public Housing Committee. We are here to vote on two bills to improve the quality and service of DIFTA sponsored senior centers located on NYCHA property. Proposed intro number 415A, sponsored by Council Member Chen, and proposed intro number 1827A, sponsored by me. Both bills were originally heard by this committee along with the Committee on Aging at a joint hearing on April 7th of this year. At that hearing, this committee sought to better understand how NYCHA and DIFTA are working together to best meet the needs of NYCHA's aging population. Over 20% of the more than 350,000 authorized residents at NYCHA are age 62 and older. A few years ago, we were told that NYCHA and DIFTA were working on an MOU to work out the relationship and responsibilities between the two agencies. But this year we learned that that MOU never came to be. Regardless of what NYCHA and DIFTA have worked out, it's only fair that residents, especially some of the most vulnerable residents, have a clear understanding of what is going on and how to access services and raise complaints when their needs aren't being met. Senior centers are an important way for our senior population to access critical resources and services. Unfortunately, in response to COVID-19, senior centers have been closed since March, 2020. There still seems to be confusion and frustration related to the planning of reopening the centers. Even though vaccines have been rolling out and the city has been taking steps to safely reopen and return to normalcy, Whenever senior centers do fully reopen, we wanna be sure that they are prepared to meet the needs of our seniors. The two bills we are voting on today are designed to improve the provision of services at senior centers in NYCHA. First, proposed intro number 415A, sponsored by council member Margaret Chen, would require DIFTA to report on certain information regarding senior centers located on NYCHA property including information on how to raise complaints about senior center facilities at those locations and what steps have been taken to address those complaints. Second, my bill, proposed intro number 1827A would require the establishment of a NYCHA liaison within DIFTA. This liaison would help clarify the division of responsibilities between NYCHA and DIFTA with respect to senior centers. As I said at the hearing last month, these bills would establish important common sense steps to improve the coordination of services to NYCHA's most vulnerable seniors. I am joined today by Council Member Menchaca, Council Member Diaz Sr., Council Member Ayala, Council Member Van Bramer, Council Member Riley, Council Member Jonai, Council Member Salamanca, Council Member Feliz and Council Member Gibson. And I am not sure if the chair of the aging committee, Council Member Chen is on or if she's coming on to speak on her bill. Uh, I, I don't believe she'll be joining us. Okay. With that, we will now ask the clerk to call the roll. Good afternoon, Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on public housing. Roll call vote on proposed intros 415A and 1827A. All items are coupled. Chair Ampi Samuel. I vote yes. Ben Bramer. I vote aye. Gibson. Congratulations, Madam Chair. I vote aye. Minshaka. Congratulations to Chair 
uh, and Councilmember uh, Alika Ampri Samuel, and also Councilmember Margaret Chen Ibodai. Salamanca. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz Sr. Joe Otto C. Jonai. I vote aye. Riley. Congratulations, Chair. I vote aye on all, and I would like to be added to intro 1827-A if possible. Thank you. Feliz. Uh, congratulations, Javoto C. Thank you for uh, the good work on the session. Okay. By a vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the items have been adopted. Thank you, everyone. And with that, that will, is that the conclusion? We're not waiting, right? We're not holding anything open, right? I'm, I'm not sure yet, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Committee Council, are we good? Uh, could we keep it open just for a couple more, a uh, few more moments? Uh, we did receive RSVPs from the other two members of the committee and we, just to make sure. All right, Chair Ampri Samuel, I believe we're ready to close. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so that will conclude the today's vote on the um, both bills, and I appreciate.